everybody, welcome to my Woodland Theme Week. This is the 7th of August to the 13th and I love this Woodland Theme, I think it's so cute, I'm loving all the nature, so here we go. I'm using this Ellie Beth Designs Kit as my main inspiration and as usual I've got my printouts all scattered all over my planner. <laughs> you can see all my little post-its where I've pre-planned, blah, if I can even see that. And then I'm just lifting them up so that I can add these little strips of stickers, which are like the little washi strips, and they fit perfectly in the Erin, underneath the Erin Condren boxes. So you've got the one that fits for Monday to Wednesday, and then you've got the Thursday to Sunday one, which I think is so cute that they fit exactly. And now I'm just using this green florally washi tape and it's got like leaves on it and stuff as well and I'm just applying it underneath the sticker strips and then I'm going to use my Erin Condren ruler to rip it once I get it all laying flat and straight which is a task sometimes and it just rips gorgeously straight. And again on the other side. Now I will fix that inner corner bit by the spiral. I just forgot to rip it just then, but I will in a second, you can see. So then I'm starting on the backgrounds. I'm using my glue. Oh, actually this is to put corners in for the full squares that come on the Ellie Beth Designs kit because they are rounded corners so I didn't want any white space around them but to be honest you can't really tell much with that one especially with the um, labels that I chose to stick this one's a little bit more prominent so then I decided that looked better so I ripped up the other bit and stuck it a little bit higher so that at least there was a little header or the top then you can see a little bit of white space but I wasn't bothered and I love this little fox quote it says they are the hunters we are the foxes and we run from the Taylor Swift song I love it and then this is my box of extra printouts that I'd made and I was just picking out anything that was like woodlandy so all the green things I wanted to get out So I added this green checklist as a to-do from Monday and then I added a little header so I can write to-do on the top there and then some full boxes. I just kind of did random things. I knew I wanted to do another list on Saturday for the end of the week and then I just cut up some of the backgrounds to make header like strips because I thought it looked a bit prettier than just boring straight green ones. So just adding in some quotes on the days that I don't have a list or anything to put on so there's a little Bambi which is cute and then I just thought that they sort of contributed to the theme and sort of added something you know inspiration and then there's some more headers So the little glue mouse that I'm using is actually refillable and the glue on the back of the strips is actually repositionable glue so you can lift them up once you've stuck it down so it's not too permanent which is a good thing in case you stick it on crooked or you make a mistake. I like that you can just lift it back up and it is really sticky. So I'm just placing down some backgrounds now as well. I think they're very cute, the ones that I picked. I picked out some trees and some squirrels and foxes and these are using, these strips that I'm putting down now, I'm using them as my vitamin reminders because I forgot to print those out so I did some of those trees and then some of these leaves and I did opposite days because I thought they just looked a bit cute so I stuck little dots on them to draw the little heart to check off but I decided that I would colour the heart in instead of taking it off this week because I thought it looked more neat with the little circle 
And then these little strips that I'm adding on now are for my TV shows. So Monday, Wednesday and Thursday where I have Made in Chelsea, Great British Bake Off and then Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. And then I'm just adding in more backgrounds and headers just to finish off the day. I saw these to-dos on the caress brush sheet from the Flamingo set and I thought they were perfect and they fit so cute with the list that I do and I'm only doing two so it's all good and then as, you, as I said before just backgrounds and then I'm using gaps I'm leaving gaps so that I could write um, stick in the half boxes not write I don't know, even know what I'm talking about so just sticking in so there isn't too much of a gap and it's just sort of layers it nicely so that there's no white space but you've still got spaces and gaps to write things if you want and some of the half boxes I actually made myself you just need to get your picture and then draw a white square over it and then fade it out so it's a little bit translucent, transparent and then so it shows a little bit of the colour but it's kind of faded so you can still write. So Saturday was the last day for me to finish off the backgrounds and everything so I'm just adding in the last little half box and then I'm going to begin my actual planning. So I put a little TV icon there. This week is rubbish week. So I've got a green rubbish bin from Ellie Beth Designs. And then I'm just flipping through my book and picking out things I need. Like my little time to plan sticker from Obsessed with Cute. Gorgeous. And then I've got a little meeting briefcase sticker. But that's just to mark something for work and then some running stickers which I use for um, when I want to work out my workout days and I tend to do three things so squats, abs and stretching and then I kept moving that one on the Sunday and I've got a little edit from XOXOXAO and then I found these checklists from Caress Press which were perfect because they were green from the flamingo set and I never use them and the upload and record signs are also from XOXO as is that little martini glass with the little lime I think it's, it's not a it's some sort of it's a margarita glass even and then the little um, coffee cup that I added the green one on Tuesday that's the grande Tuesday that is by the planner junkie now I'm just decorating with the decorating sheet from the woodland set from Ellie Beth Designs. And I love the little critters and creatures that she's added and they're just so cute. And I was just finding, trying to find places for them to sit on the spread. And I just think it really adds some flavour to the spread without sort of taking away from the theme too much. I felt like I did use a lot of stickers and it was a little bit overcrowded but I kind of like that, it's like organised chaos, like my room. I stuck the tree down behind the deer and I thought the deer was so cute and I definitely wanted it in the corner. And then there's little mushrooms and little grass and acorns and flowers and things. I didn't use any of the blue flowers, I thought I'd just save them for another spread in the future. So some more mushrooms that I'm adding and little grass things and then that's a little fox and some more acorns. So the reason why I moved my little green trainer shoe and the three heart checklists down was so that I had space to put the weekend banner and then I forgot that I left space to put the weekend banner and then added that there. And then you'll see me at the end realising this and changing it over again. So another thing that I forgot was my glitter washi down the side so I actually had to quickly add that and then so I've lifted up the stickers. I love that they are easily lift upable because they are repositionable mapped and then I just added them and then stuck them back down overneath, overneath over the glitter washi and it worked out perfect and then just adding a few little more 
decorative items because you can't have too many, apparently. That's my Stabilo pen set. I'm using the dark brown one to fill in all the little functional things that I need to write in my planner, which is what it's for, right? That's what your planner's for. So I'm just doing little hearts over like the quotes and pictures and things. And then I'm writing today on the today sections and well, I don't need to write to do anymore because I've got the to do ones but I will be writing editing in the edit box. There I'm just writing my anniversary party, it's our work anniversary party on Thursday. And then I'm writing in vitamins and then I drew an open heart. I thought I was going to tick them off but yesterday I decided that I was just going to colour them in because I think it looks so cute just the filled in heart. And then I'm just writing in squats, stretch and abs which is what I'm going to be doing on Sunday. But actually I think Zumba's back on. So that's exciting. This is me writing in DCC for Daz Published Leaders and then I flipped the book so it's easy for me to write on the first half of the week. So Monday I've got something to do already and then I've got to write that Sarah from work is gone on Tuesday which means I have to do all of the work for now and then I just put Grande Tuesday on and I found and I needed another heart checklist so I just got one stuck that in and then I've always left gaps for me to write you know extra things that happen throughout the day so for example today it is Tuesday and something happened to our car so I put a little car sticker in and then I wrote what happened oh I'm just writing my vitamins and my TV show on the MIC LA one I actually do a little TV you can't really see but I tend to draw a little TV and I like to draw little hearts everywhere so I drew a little one on the rubbish bin and there's one on the nail polish and there's one on the coffee cup And then I'm just writing in my editing list for Wednesday, which is for editing my main beauty video. And then I just use my friction pen to write spending downside, and then I write Monday to start the week off. And that's it, that's done. I forgot to add in the weekend banner again, so I just removed the bear that was here, put it up there, and moved the squirrel. A bit afterwards and added this little acorn and added this weekend banner from L Heart Designs. So yay! And then I also added this functional sticker that came on the Ellie Beth Designs kit here and then I added another one here on the Monday because I thought they were gap 